Hi all, in this video I am going to show you guys a complete walkthrough to use Warper effect on DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know what this Warper effect is, Warper effect will allow you to warp the video to your liking. If you have used Adobe, you may be familiar with the Puppet tool, it is same as Puppet tool. So let's jump into this video. First of all, Warper effect can be added from the Edit tab fusion tab or from the color tab and all the controls for the warper effect remains same on all these three tab. Now here are some of the things that you want to keep in mind while using warper effect. First thing is that we can keyframe this warp effect but we can only control the keyframe from color tab keyframe editor or from fusion tab. We can't control the keyframe from edit tab. So if you are keyframing this warp effect, don't add the effect from edit tab. Second thing is that to warp, we need to add points and we need to control these points. And when you accidentally made a warp and need to go back, you can undo this from edit tab. But if you are using the undo option from fusion tab or from color tab, it won't work. On both these tabs, undo will not work on the warp points that you added and all the warping you've done. So when warping on these two tabs, be extra careful to not create any unwanted warp. So to use the warp tool, add the warper effect, then from the weaver, you can control this. If you are on edit tab or on color tab, you need to enable open effects overlay to use the controls available on the warp effect. So to warp, you can add the points using mouse click and it will add the point which can be used to warp the video. Usually when you add a point, it will affect the entire video. So to limit the area where we can warp, we can add the limiter point. To add the limiter point, press shift while adding the point. It will add a red color point which is the limiter point. So the places after you added the limiter point warp will not work giving us more control on warping and to delete the warp points you can press alt and click on a point lastly if you press control and drag you can select more than one point then you can use this box that you created to move the point remember that you can delete points using this selection box next about the on screen controls option in inspector tab this option cannot be used to control any warp effect. This will only control how the warp tool is shown in the viewer. First we got a checkbox render a reference grid. By ticking the box it will show grid around the video you added the warper effect. Show warp boundaries will only work if you added the limiter point. By using this option it will isolate the area affected by warp as border will add a red line as a border between warp area and non warped area while as mask will add a overlay mask to differentiate these areas. Control visibility will control the points visibility. Show means point will be shown in their time while auto add will add the points while making changes using the point showing us the full video without any disturbing points. Lastly, I will completely add these points. Show option will allow you to change the point from normal point to vector points. Point means it will just show the point while vector will show a point and an arrow. Point is the location where you added the point while arrow shows where you are warping that point to. Giving us a complete view on what we are doing. Lastly, we got a scale option. It will scale the points. It won't scale the warp effect, it will only scale the point that is shown on the viewer. Now for the warp effects control, first we got warp limit, it controls how edges will be affected with the warping. Corners means four corner will be pinned or locked, so we can't warp it. Still we can bulge the areas around the corners. Then we got edges. On edges, all the edges of the video will be pinned or locked. We can warp the edges but we can bulge it. 
Distance means it will lock parts of the video from some pixels away from the warp point. Lastly, we got the manual option. In manual, no part of the video is locked, so we can warp the video to our liking. Warp sharpness control the warp point's effectiveness. Sharp means a warp point will be pointy. It does not mean it will be pointy as corners, but more like there won't be that much warp when using sharp option. Rounded means warp points will be smoother. While using rounded, it will be like too much warp even when you move the point a little bit. Lastly, rubber sheet means warp points effectiveness will be in between of sharp and rounded. It is like average control. Edge behavior option controls how the edges will look after warping. Sometimes after warping, the edges of the video will be moved inside showing black color. We can fix this by using this control. Reflect and replicate option will allow you to remove the black edges. Quality controls the quality of warping. Better will give the best result but it will use more resource. So depending on your system, you may want to choose the option. You can work with faster quality and while rendering, you can change it to better so you will get a good quality warp. Warp scale controls the warp strength. One is the default, two will double the warping while zero will remove the warp effect. You can use this option to adjust the warp strength. Last option on this warp tool is the point location. The sole purpose of this option is to add keyframe to the warp controls. First we got effect follow option. Input and edit sizing means after adding the warp, if we change the size of the video from inspector, the warp will follow the sizing. That means you will get the same warp after changing the size of the video. While timeline frame means the warp points will be linked to timeline weaver. So when you change the size of the video, the warp effect will be different. Now to add keyframe, you need to press the keyframe icon on the manual keyframing option. Thing to notice that while keyframing, on the starting keyframe point, you need to add the warp point. Then you need to change the warp point on the ending keyframe location. Then only you can achieve the warp animation. So that's it. That's all about this warper effect walkthrough guys. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.